back about four or five years ago, uh, a group of our labor leaders in town came forward um, to our hospice and they knew what, that we wanted to create some gardens. We had been talking about it, didn't have any real plans yet, and uh, asked us if we would consider calling our gardens Solidarity Gardens, and if so, then they would raise the money to help create the gardens. And so then we set about having a design done, um, what it was going to look like. And that spring, um, the or late fall, winter, out at the college, um, Ontario uh, Landscape was doing a display for the winter blooms at the college and they had these beautiful trellises and um, one of our board members was talking to I think it was um, Chris from Bel Air and Chris um, he was telling them that we were going to be doing this and Chris said well we would help and uh, Paul was saying commenting on how beautiful these trellises were and and they said well let's talk we'll talk to everyone and see if they want to donate it and then it just took a life of its own. Um, they came out to meet with us. We had drawings and designs done. And over the next few years, they were working on it constantly. And it was, it was such a labor of love. They would come. It didn't matter if it was weekends or after hours. They'd come and do some work. And they would also... Um, talk to people in the communities. It was such a, a wonderful project because so many people got involved in it and volunteered or donated. At the end of the day, this is what was created, which was way beyond what I ever dreamed would happen. I mean, you see things on paper, a design, and you think, oh, that looks great. And then when you see it all unfold, it's just breathtaking. And everything, um, the color, the kinds of, of shrubs and trees and everything that was chosen, it, it, like they were hand-picked. And it's created such a wonderful space. Um, I was saying earlier, it's like having another big room onto our building because we spend so much time out here. Our patients come out. We run groups out here. Uh, family members come when they just don't think they can take any more. They're so stressed and tired, and they just need a place to be quiet and just look around and enjoy the beauty. We are so grateful to Landscape Ontario because they helped make all this happen. Um, CAW, the, the unions, raised $100,000, but as you, if you look around, this is beyond that. And uh, we got all the extras because of Landscape Ontario. So we are tremendously grateful, and, and not just me as the director. I speak on behalf of our patients, our families, our volunteers are out here all the time, our staff. Those days when, you know, you see a whole lot here and it all tugs at your heartstrings and sometimes you just come out and sit here and take a deep breath so you can go back in and, and get on with the work that needs to be done. Well, I think it's important for everyone to know that it's not only patients that benefit, but also caregivers. We do counseling here right on site also. And I do find quite often I will have people that I come out to find to take in for counseling and they will be standing by the window, just staring out, gazing at the garden. Um, and also I like to share that it's great for us to be able to step out here in this beautiful space to clear our own heads in between sessions and to be able to keep going on and providing the service that we provide. So it's fulfilling a lot of people on a lot of levels and it's just beautiful. I have watched it develop because I would come here for educational opportunities and saw it sort of come through the rudimentary phases to what it is now. And I know of a particular lady in the community who comes here on a pretty regular basis for some of the groups and I see her very often and she sits in the lobby there and watches the garden and comments on it and I think it's a peaceful place for her to be. It's a place where she feels comfortable and it's beautiful, much nicer than when she's cooped up in her own home. So I think it's great for a lot of people.